Welcome to another edition of In the Kitchen with your chef Vernon Young. Today we're going to be cooking curry goat. All right. So what we have here is two pounds of fresh goat meat. Okay. Also, I'm going to teach you how to cook our pre-packaged seasoned meat that we sell in our restaurant. Okay. This is our seasoned meat. So to all our customers who purchase this meat, I'll be teaching you how to cook our seasoned um, curry goat today. So the ingredients that we use when we're cooking our curry goat is onions. So we have one medium onion sliced. We have four stalks of a scallion. You know, you could break it up. We have about 10 sprigs of thyme. I, I love thyme. Um, we have one cup of bell peppers which is a mixture of red, yellow, and green bell peppers. Uh, we have, I have four, four cloves of uh, garlic diced, and we have half a cup of curry powder. We also have one cup of diced, big diced um, potato. You could use whatever potato you choose. I think all of them works, would do the same thing. Um, we also use our all-purpose, our all-purpose seasoning. So you could use whatever all-purpose seasoning you want to use, but this is the one we use. Um, we have half a cup of vegetable oil, and we have some lemon juice here that we're going to use to wash our goat meat, okay? We also have a scotch bonnet pepper that we normally break and put in the meat, put in the, in the, in the, um, the mixture when we're cooking it. Well, you could put, you could use whatever you want to use, okay? I just kind of just cut it, put it in there, and then take it out just for it to give it uh, some flavor. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to execute this dish. All right, so follow me to the kitchen. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you guys how we're going to cook, we're going to wash our meat, okay? So in the water, cover it with water, and this is lime juice, okay? It's all lime juice. I love to use lime juice to wash my meat. So, pour some lime juice in the water. You know, you gotta mix it up, okay? Strain the water off. See how red the water is? You don't wanna be cooking all that. Add some more water. Then, add a couple more squirts, like three squirts of lime juice. And then we wash it again. So the water is getting clear and pretty. And you know your meat's well washed, okay? So let's give it an extra rinse. And then we like to keep or wash our meats. Let's get all the excess water out of it. So now your meat is wash and clean okay so now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put uh, how we're gonna uh, season our meat so these are the seasonings so all you want on your meat right now is your all-purpose seasoning so we're gonna we're gonna use two tablespoons one actually three tablespoons of Taste seduction, all purpose seasoning. Okay. Yeah, so we're using three tablespoons of taste seduction, all purpose seasoning. Um, we're gonna put the curry powder on there, and then we're gonna leave maybe just a little of the curry powder in the bottom of the, um, in the container, okay? And we're gonna add half the garlic to the mixture. We're gonna add, add half the onion. So whatever onion you slice, add half of it to the mixture. You could break it up, you could put it in. Okay, and we add half the thyme. I like to break up the thyme. Break it up or if you want to cut it, okay? I like to break things, so, but you could cut it, okay? And 
what I normally do is the scotch bonnet pepper. I break it in half, break it like this, and I put it in there. Okay, you don't have to. If you don't like spice, you don't have to do that. And then I mix everything in. Mix it in, mix it in. That scotch bonnet gives it that little, you know, hot, tangy flavor. Plus it smells really good. Mix, makes it smells really good. So that is your, uh, make sure you always know where your scotch bonnet pepper is, okay? So that is um, your, your curry goat, well seasoned. Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook this, all right? After you season this, you let it sit for about maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. You cover it and yeah, you just cover it. You could let it sit overnight or you let it sit for at least half an hour, okay? At least half an hour, you let it sit. If you wanna cook it right away, half an hour. If you leave it overnight in your fridge, it's even better, okay? So we're gonna let this sit overnight and we're gonna cook this in the morning. All right, so see you in the morning. We'll be cooking this dish. I'll be teaching, showing you how to cook this dish, all right? Gonna put it away in the fridge and uh, see you in the morning. So now I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna cook this curry goat, okay? So we're gonna light our stove and um, you could keep the stove on, uh, you could have it on high heat, okay? And um, these are the ingredients we're gonna we're gonna add first to the to the pot. Okay, so we're adding half a cup vegetable oil. Okay, half a cup of vegetable oil to the pot. Let that oil get hot. Okay, you want to let it get hot. All right. So after you add that, after the oil gets hot, you want to add the rest of that curry to the oil, okay? You know, you let the curry get mixed into the oil. Get hot. And when that gets hot, now we're gonna add our goat. Okay, so when the oil gets hot, remember our goat already has a lot of seasoning in there. Okay, so when the oil gets hot, you wanna pour your goat in there. So now you know the oil is hot. Pour your goat. Make sure you have a spoon and always mix them. In. So you mix them into that. Like when you burn the you burn the color in the oil, it gives it that extra flavor and sheen that, that that goes into the into the meat and the color. Okay. So it's up to you if you want to take this out, the scotch bonnet, or you want to leave it in there. Okay. So. I leave it in there. Okay, so now, you know, it's fried up a little bit. So we're gonna add four cups of water, okay? Four cups of water. Alright, so now you add your six cups of water to the goat. So all who purchase the pre-packaged meat, you would just add them after you uh, tar, this, tar the package out and you put the oil in the pot, then that's when you would add your pre-packaged meat, okay? Then you add the six cups of water, all right? So after the six cups of water, you wanna add two more tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning Okay, you want this to cook with as much flavor as possible. So two cups of all-purpose seasoning. You want to 
and mix that in. Mix it in. It's a nice color that it has. And then you want to cover it. Okay? So we're gonna cover, we're gonna cover it. You're gonna let this cook for at least 45 minutes and then you check it. So basically you're gonna cook this to your to tenderness. Alright, when it's about 75% cooked, we're gonna add the other ingredients to it. Alright, so we're gonna be checking back on our curry go. Believe it or not, this bad boy has been cooking for at least another hour. Okay, so some goat cooks really fast and um, some goat uh, takes a longer time to cook. Okay, so um, this one's been cooking for at least another hour. So I add an extra two cups of water. Just like as I said, if you if you you check your goat and if it's not cooked, you just keep adding two cups of water and let it boil down into a sauce. And if it's still not cooked, you just keep adding a little bit of water until it, it's, it's tender, okay? So we're gonna be serving this with our reggae rice, okay? So that's the final of your curry goat. All right, and we're gonna be serving it with our reggae rice. And look at that, look at that, okay? If you like this recipe, leave a comment and like the video. Let me know what you wanna see me cook in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications of my next cooking video. Peace out.